Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go the house. i i the house. My man, my boss in the building. My boss, Dr. Felix Yao Kamasa. He is the best you can ever work with. I love him so much. Eh? So you see Sunday, instead of us supposed to be at the church, we are here. So actually, yes, I'll write a book and Dr. Kamasa will feature in it. Which part my book. So we are going to the farm to finish the last stage before we wait for the rain and then our planting happens. So keep um, glue to our channel for more updates. <laughs> Hi, thanks for joining me on the Ghanaian Farmer channel. My name is Enyunam. If you see me in town, just call me Ghana's finest farmer. I'm giving you farm updates of what is the current status of the sweet potato production we are doing right here in Ada, precisely in Sege. It is 30 acre sweet potato orange flesh. That's the variety we are going to be producing. So from the time we got the land, from plowing 5 to 15, 20, now we have 30. Now when you go through the process, which is the first plowing, the second plowing, you do your harrowing and you do your region. So you can see a tractor working behind me. The region is basically a bird. It's just a straight bed that you have to plant the vines on. And that's what is ongoing currently. And you know, you know, <laughs> the farming issues that I always talk about, we got here like nine, almost 10 o'clock. The tractor arrived around 2 p.m. and work is now ongoing. So we have to go and trust that work will be done. These are some of the unforeseen circumstances that might occur in course of preparing your land for planting. The weather is looking cloudy, but we are hoping and praying and asking God, please give us some few days so that we can complete this and then proceed to planting. So if you're out there and you're watching us, stay with us, pray with us, support us, subscribe, share. And of course, the day of planting, you definitely say it. And the day of harvesting, you're going to say it. Where we'll be doing our fertilizer, the pest control, the weedy side and everything. We'll make sure we'll bring you up to speed on everything that there is happening right here on this background. So for all of our partners out there, many thanks for trusting us and doing this with us. We are creating jobs, we are creating an income for people, we are going to feed not just Africa, but the foreign people who are going to be consuming this. And of course, we are contributing to cut down the unemployment that is staring in the face of every country. My name once more is Enyuna, please remember to subscribe. And we hope now the window, we are closing the window because the pressure is too much so we are closing the window so if you want to join this wait the next season then you can join us but for now 
the number of investors we are looking at we have them already so um then you can try yours as well marvelous trust is there to help you from scratch to finish that's the best part of it all so look for dr felis yao kamasa he is the managing director of marvelous trust ghana limited he will help you but please we charge for consultation yes we charge everything you see happening here has been paid for so if you're coming to consult the Ghanaian farmer or marvelous trust we charge for every service we provide it is very good value for money very very important so um for now the trust is still working and we are here but we'll be going back and then we'll be coming back the next day from about two weeks now it's been back to back driving in and out just to ensure that everything that there is to be done before planting is done and that's why i keep saying there's nothing like an absentee farmer if you don't have time do not go into farming if you do not have the passion the commitment the resources if you don't have the heart to take some of these things do not try do not attempt it is not a joke my name is and you know thank you so much for staying with us i will make sure that when it's about time for us to do our planting we'll get a drone to give you the view from top to down so you can see what is happening but for now we are the final stage before planting which is making our bed and that's what is ongoing now that you can see on these um on this location keep subscribing keep sharing and please if you have any clarification at all about anything farming get in touch with us we'll be glad to assist you but when it it is something that is more detailed then we'll remind you of something small <laughs> i love you all thanks for supporting us we hope to bring you tailor-made impactful educational content So I kept mentioning that this is the final stage to go through before the planting. So you can see a very straight line from the top all the way going down there. Now this is what we call reading or bed. Why do we have these? It is because the nature and the type of potato we are going to plant. That's the orange flesh potato. It is not something that is consumed here in Ghana. The typical Ghanaian one is the bobbed round one, very big, but the foreign one is a bit tiny and straight, and it has to look a certain shape. As a result, this is the kind of bird you need to actually plant your vines so that it actually uh, forms its roots well, it actually bobs the way they want it, and the expected yield would actually be achieved because this whole bed from up there going down there takes a certain number of uh how do you call it vines so if you don't have the bed done right one you will not be able to get the the plant population and two you won't be able to get the tongs that you need we are estimating that every five acre we will get about 50 tongs but it's likely we might not get the 50. you can get 40 or 45 tongs it is likely because in farming there are a few problems here and there all right so you need to have it in your mind that we project 50 tons for every five acre but we might end up getting 40 or 45 and out of that percentage 70 to 75 percent is what goes to um the export market so 70 to 75 percent is what goes to the export market then the rest is sold in the local market so all these things has to be put into consideration and so the first bed we did so i am beginning to understand proper when i have now put myself into farming the first bed we did for the five five acre the tractor we hired didn't have the rager all right there's a kind of uh, tool that you have to get this shape of bed he didn't have it and he didn't tell us he used something else so we have to destroy that one and we are doing it all over again 
so that's a cost and and these are some of the things that you need to bear in mind as a farmer so uh we'll bring you a lot more updates as time goes by the transfer is coming let me run out of short before it comes to clear my tiny legs but keep watching the Ghanaian farmer stay glued to our platform we'll bring you all the the, the updates on what is happening with our commercial sweet potato production <laughs>